In the first two experiments of this unit, you will be required to plot uh, your experimental data using the software called SciDavis. When we open SciDavis, you'll see this window. Now I have some data for the pendulum experiment here. I'm just going to copy in uh, the data that we would like to plot, which is first the square root of L. So I'll copy this into the X column. And I can change the name of the column under the description tab. I can call this, for example, square root L. And then the Y column, I will grab the average period that you measured and copy and paste, and I will call this T. To plot this data, I want to select the two columns that we would like to plot. Uh, you can see that it says that this column will be X and this column will be Y. And under plot, uh, I select scatter, and it will bring up our graph. Firstly, I just want to delete the legend. We're not too interested in that in this instance. Uh, now I want to include the linear uh, trend line. I can include that by uh, going to Analysis, Quick Fit, uh, and Fit Linear. And it'll uh, fit a linear function, y equals mx plus c, uh, and here it calls the slope a uh, with the uncertainty, which you can record, and as well as the intercept, which is called b here. So once you recorded that, you can close the results log and we can uh, work on our data presentation. First, I'm just going to change the title to, for instance, graph A. Uh, the x-axis, I'm going to call the square root of L. We can include mathematical symbols under this tab. Choose square root, close, square root of L, and remember to give your axis units, and we can do the same for the y-axis, call it t with units, apply, okay. If we would like to change the font uh, under any of these uh, tabs, we can choose font, but I'm happy with how this is. Now lastly, what we need to do in these graphs is to include our error bars on each of our data points. So moving back under Windows to the table, I want to add two new columns just by right-clicking and saying Add Column. And I'll do that to add a second new column. And these columns I'll copy in the uncertainties in each of the values from my Excel table. So here is my uncertainty in the square root of L. Based. and sigma here is the uncertainty in the average periods. And I'll just give these some um, titles in the table for clarity. Okay. <laughs> Now when I move back to the graph window, I can include the error bars by selecting graph, add error bars. Now for the y error bar, I can select from table one, the column called sigma and click add, and that will include the y errors. Now selecting the x error bar, I can choose delta square root L and add error bars for the uncertainty in x. Now that the graph is complete, we can export the uh, graph to an image file by selecting File, Export Graph, Current, and giving our graph a name, and Save. Now when I go back to the desktop, here is my uh, graph. 